Good morning. Good morning, morning. <laughs> We're on our way to a COVID test. Yay. There's nothing like a COVID test in the morning. <laughs> we feel fine, right? I mean, you feel fine. Yeah. Yeah. We feel, we still feel fine, but we're being. She still looks fine. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Out of an abundance of caution, we are doing this so that possibly we can reacclimate ourselves with our younger sons <laughs> and be around them. <laughs> we are back and uh, Cornelius is up and Ethan is up. Cornelius. Oh, Cornelius. He flew to Mima's plant. Uh-oh. All right. I'm sitting up here in my chair having my lunch. And um, Chef Gabriel is about to deliver some sliced apples with a little bit of peanut butter to, you know, outside my door. Uh, he's been very busy this morning. He's been um, taking orders and um, helping get food for people. And I'm very thankful for him. <laughs> he even put his tuxedo shirt on and black pants. So he is dressed. <laughs> he's dressed up to, you know, be fancy. So it must be a fancy restaurant. It will be the, the best sliced apples I've ever had, I'm sure. Um but still haven't heard anything from casting. No one has. <laughs> so I keep wondering in that situation, I mean like my 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 knee jerk reaction is he didn't get cast and it's not like I I just want to be told that he didn't get it. You know, like I I'm, I'm not expecting him to get it, but we're going to be told either way. And so I just want to be told that he didn't get it. And part of me wants to be told by some of the other moms that, oh yeah, we heard. Or, you know, like, because then I'll know that something's happening. Like there's, there are decisions being made. Um, I do know that they were doing the adult the adult auditions in tandem like it was all at the same time because they were having adults there right before we went there whenever we went for the final final round there was a guy finishing up his audition because we got there early for the covid test and so then I realized, oh, they're doing the adult things right now. And sure enough, I talked to some other people and they're like, oh yeah, they knew somebody that was called for it. So everything was all at once. Um, that could possibly delay things, I guess. Like they have to secure the adults first. I mean, in every production I've ever been a part of or that the boys have ever been a part of the kids are the last thing that they get because they have to get the parents or grandparents or whoever you know sisters older aunts and uncles and stuff like that if they're building any sort of families um they have to get the older folks first and then build down so um but it's been a week. I can't believe that it. it's been a week. It's weird. It's it's like been forever ago and like yesterday all at once. Um since he had his final call back. <laughs> so, um what a week it has been. <laughs> um yeah, and this is a really long clip. Sorry. Hi, chef. Thank thank you for the apple slices. I appreciate it. Let me see your outfit. Very nice. <laughs> I should probably go feed myself. Right. Yeah, you should feed yourself. Don't forget about feeding yourself. <sighs> the apples were delightful. 
Um, it was very fancy. <laughs> um, something that I haven't mentioned yet today is I have been um, messaging one of my friends back and forth. It's actually the mom of Julian's oldest friend. Um, he was in daycare with their daughter and um, so they were, they had this like really adorable friendship even as babies. And so, um, they haven't really talked very much in the last several years, but through us messaging today, we found out that both of them are interested in a similar college and long story short, we're going to be visiting on the same day. <laughs> so... <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. And they're probably going to be annoyed with me because I'm going to be like, oh, we have to get pictures. You guys are, you guys are vis visiting the college together. <laughs> so yes, Megan, if you're watching this, you can, you can warn your daughter and say, Mrs. Solis is going to annoy you. <laughs> I was just talking with Julian. Um, and I have to share with you, I very rarely talk about Gabriel's school on here. Because um, usually it's me working with the older boys on all of their different things that they have to get done. And that's because Gabriel, ever since I have put him um, in the same program that the older guys are doing... He just does his stuff. Like, he just, he does his school. I can sit with him or not. And if he needs my help, then he asks for my help. Um, and he, he actually, I feel like he really is thriving doing school this way. Part of me is very heartbroken. <laughs> Because it isn't the same as the older boys. The older boys and I, you know, would sit at the table and we'd get the books out. And we would, like, it was a traditional-ish type of situation. And I was their teacher and we would go through all of the curriculum and we would, you know, do everything together. That didn't work for Gabriel. <laughs> I mean, like, he he would get stuff done if he felt like it. And usually he would just be bored and say he hates school. And it, it was heartbreaking because my older boys were like thirsty to learn. They were just like, they wanted to do hands-on projects. They wanted to do everything, not Gabriel. But ever since he started this, he is so like he he talks about what he's learning and everything so I just went in to see is he going to finish fourth grade on time and by on time I mean like by the middle of June <laughs> because he didn't start the online like this program until the end of December like he started it was in December I don't remember when, but it was in December and it wasn't the very beginning of December. I don't think it was, it was late. So basically he was starting over, starting fourth grade over halfway through the year. I just went in there. He's finishing. He's going to be finished with like three subjects this week. <laughs> and I mean... It's been like a few weeks since I went in and I just like looked to see how he was doing and stuff because it's been a busy week and a half, you know. Um, but when we were in New York, now I kind of feel bad because when we were in New York, I'm like, you need to do school. You, you, I want you to get done with, with fourth grade. You know, I don't want you to be doing fourth grade while you are in the show that you're in this summer, you know. <laughs> And he's, he's probably going to finish before we even leave for 
like before all of his peers are finished with their school this year. And I'm, <sighs> I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. We are taking a walk. It is nice to get fresh air. <laughs> this is my final clip. Gabriel is currently taking a shower in my bathroom. That was a whole fiasco. Where is he going to shower? Where should he shower? And I'm like, okay, I'll just spray disinfectant on everything and you can take a shower in my bathroom. <laughs> Because his bathroom, he shares he shares a shower with Julian. And uh, we're not going to do that. Um, we're just going to leave that until he's better. And then everything will get bleached. But um, so I disinfected my bathroom and he's in there. And this is my final clip. I watched your vlog and you did it without me. How dare you? I'm sorry. I didn't even know. And then I watched your vlog and I'm like, wait, I didn't do it. No. <laughs> sorry, Ethan. <laughs> sorry, I get this on the vlog. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow morning we have um, COVID tests again. For us. For the boys this time, though. Um, yeah, not Julian. He doesn't need a test. We know that he's, you know, an overachiever. <laughs> yes, he's raising the weather, his... The weather changed for next week. And... The weather the, has changed for next week. All of next week are going to be in the 80s and sunny. So It's going to be in right, the 80s and as sunny. As of right now, the lowest high is going to be 81, and the lowest low is going to be 62. And that is beautiful weather. And also, as of right now, the worst weather... For next week is 81 and partly sunny. The worst no weather is 81 and partly no sunny. Raining, so as of right now, huh. And no clouds. That's either. pretty good weather. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> anyway. Um, yeah. That's what's going on tomorrow. And what else is going on tomorrow? I, that's it. That's the I only. Have you have a test? For uh, language arts. Language arts test. So. Wait. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow.